Hi everybody. I hope everybody is doing as well as you can be on this Monday. So for this week's challenges, these challenges are going to focus on line. And today in particular, we are going to be trying to experiment with thin lines like you see here, uh, medium lines like you see here, and thick lines like you see back there. All right. Now, for this challenge as well, what we are going to do is create a mandala. And a mandala has been around for thousands of years. Uh, we are going to try and use it to get centered. So you are going to start with an, an image uh, in the center. And as you make your mandala, you are going to rotate out. It's going to get bigger and bigger out from the center. And you are going to try and match things top and bottom, left and right as you go. And you'll see what I, I mean here in, in just a minute. All right. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you some traditional means uh, that you can use. You can use objects that you find in your house. You can use pencils, paper, crayon. You can use sidewalk chalk uh, if you have it. It's not raining right now, so it might be a good uh, time to, to go out and give it a try. And there is an app um, called Drawings uh, Kaleidoscope, and it's free and you can get it for Android, Apple, and desktop. So I'm gonna show you four different ways that you can create these mandalas, All right? So stay tuned, check it out, and let's see what you create. So the first method of mandala making that I'll show you today is just using a piece of paper. It could be graph paper like this, white paper, colored paper, anything you want. I suggest when starting in order to make the, the matching a little easier that you fold the paper a few times. So you can take your paper and fold it in half one, fold it in half twice, and if you want you can fold it one more time along a diagonal. So when you open the paper back up you should see something like this and that's going to help you uh, mirror or match your mandala when you do it. To start your mandala with your lines, think of something that you'd like to include in the center, something positive. In this case, I chose a, a sun shape or a flower shape. Once you add the center shape, think about other shapes that you can include that, that go with it. They could be small, they could be large, they could be detailed, they could be simple. That is up to you. And drop one of those shapes in each piece of your folded paper and then you keep going and going and going so you just keep going adding shapes that relate to your central theme once you fill the page enough then what I'd like you to do is start to experiment with thin medium and thick lines so right now with the pencil lines they're all thin um, but I'm going to go back in with a black pen to make them stand out a little bit more and I'm going to start with making them thin. So you can see here all of my lines have been traced so they're much more readable from a distance. Now I'm starting to go in with a black crayon and make some of those lines a little bolder, a little thicker and so you can see that they, they stand out more uh, than the thin ones and it adds interesting variety to the design. So you can see I've added a little bit more of those bold lines in this step. And now I've used the pen again and I've made some shapes like the stars a little thicker than the original pen lines. So I have my thin, my medium, and my thick lines variety throughout the design. Now once you have your mandala design complete, if you'd like to go back in and add more detail, you could see where I connected uh, shapes together. I added more uh, pencil lines to the stars and to the raindrops. Um, you can do that. You can then, if you'd like to go in and add color to your design, that is up to you. As long as you demonstrate an understanding of, of matching as you go and you show your thin, medium, and thick. And as you do the design, think about shapes that relate to one another. Now, another option 
if it is not raining and you have uh, sidewalk chalk available is that you can go outside and you can create a mandala. I would not <laughs> do it in the street like this. I would do it on your driveway or a front sidewalk or a patio, uh, anywhere that's, that's safe and easy to access for you. And again, you follow the, the steps that you did in the paper version. You start with a symbol or shape in the middle and you rotate out, right? So starting like I did with this one, a star because uh, I'm all about shining bright and staying positive. I drew the star first, then I started with those raindrop shapes in the corners. Uh, and then the circles, and then the pentagons, and I worked my way out and out and out in order to create this uh, sign of positivity for my neighborhood. So you could totally do something like this on a smaller scale in a safe environment. Here's a quick time lapse of how I start one of those drawings from the center. Here's another one that I did in the street. And one of the things that's interesting about doing something like this is that it will not be permanent. The, the chalk is going to wash away with the next rainfall. Um, so it's an interesting opportunity to think about letting go with your artwork, making something and then having it go back to nature. And that's totally okay too. Some works are permanent, some are temporary. One of the cool things about these pieces is that they can be interactive. All right, option three, using objects around your home to make a found object mandala. And this, uh, when you're choosing the objects, think about thin, medium, and thick sizes so that you're still experimenting with line. So check out how this progressed. So I started with a baseball that I've had for many years. Uh, it sits on my nightstand. Uh, I added some chopsticks from our uh, kitchen utensils drawer. So you can see how I started to frame the, the symmetry, the matching of the mandala that's going to happen. Then I added four forks to add a shorter line that, and a line that is a little bit more medium instead of the long and thin like the chopstick. Then I took various remote controls for our TV, our fans, etc. Uh, and started to, to break up and add details to the mandala here too. And you can see that these lines are even thicker. They're one of the, the boldest ones that I'll add. Then I added some toilet paper rolls playing cards, and some mini halo figures. And finally, some scissors. So you could see how uh, I created symmetry with this found object mandala. And once you make it, you want to take a photograph of it. Same thing with the chalk mandala if you choose to do it, or the drawn mandala, obviously, if you choose to do that one, so that you can share this via Google Classroom or on the Shine Bright Zamorano Facebook or Instagram pages. And once you build it, then you wanna make sure that you take it apart and put things back where they belong. Don't leave it out on the floor for family members and friends to, to trip over. Make sure you put it away. The other cool thing about this is if you're not feeling the design, take it apart and reconstruct it a different way and then document it again. The final mandala line uh, option that you've got this week is to use a free app uh, by Drawings. It is their mandala kaleidoscope maker. So this is what it looks like in the app store. It's good for iOS, Android, and they also have a desktop version. With this app, uh, you can use a wide variety of colors. You can make them lighter or darker. If you look at the right side there, they have a toolbar, um, a toolbox that allows you to adjust the amount of symmetry that you have. Uh, and it also allows you to adjust how big the brush is or the pencil point is too. So that way you could still create small, medium, and thick lines. Here's a quick time lapse of the app in action, going from thick to medium to thin, dark to medium to light, uh, and I'll put a full how-to video on Google Classroom and YouTube. 
So the next few images are from first graders last year that used the drawings app to create mandalas that had thick, medium, and thin lines. Four different options for your first line challenge of the week. Create a mandala that has thick, medium, and thin lines. It may be permanent, it may be temporary, it may be digital. You choose. So whatever you do, please make sure you share it at Shine Bright and Zamorano on Instagram or Facebook. And if you are a Zamorano student, make sure you add it to the assignment on Google Classroom. Good luck and stay tuned for your next line challenge.